All right, we're back in Assetto Corsa. This time for something I think is a, a little bit different, a little bit uh, more interesting, maybe. We're going to do a little race. Um, but first, let me tell you where we are. We are at uh, Solitude, or uh, Solitude or Ring, which is a track that was near Stuttgart in Germany. Um, the track was built in 1903. And it ran mostly motorcycle races through 1956. And in 1957, they widened the track, uh, widened the pits, um, created some additional um, pit stalls, and started doing car races there. And among those car races, uh, they started racing Formula Two, um, Formula Junior, and Formula One. Now, the Formula One races uh, from 1961 to 1964 were non-championship Formula One races, which means they weren't part of the official calendar. But they were interesting in that they gave Porsche one of its two F1 victories. Um, the other F1 victory, um, that was. I should look that up. But uh, this victory uh, and the one that was uh, the official uh, on the on the World uh, Championship calendar were won by Dan Gurney driving the Porsche 804. I talked a little bit about the 804, or at least I referenced it uh, when I drove the Targa Florio um, when we were driving the 904-8 because the flat 8 that was in that car was actually from the F1 car that uh, started running races in 1961 and uh, again the two wins by Dan Gurney in 1962. Um, it was a slightly smaller version of that flat eight, uh, 1500cc, which is the class for F1 races um, that we're looking at here uh, with the likes of the Ferrari 156, the Brambo BT3, Cooper T55, Lotus 25, Cooper T55, all of these cars um, were popular in this era of racing. So I thought I'd uh, give this a go. Um, and uh, to let you know also too, Solitude stopped uh, races in 1965 due to safety concerns and just lack of popularity. Uh, the roads were kind of reabsorbed back into public roads and so it goes. But it's also uh, built around the uh, Castle Solitude in Germany. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why they still have historic races there. Very interesting stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive a car that I've not driven very much and I certainly do not drive well. It is an F1 car, so those of you that have been asking me to do F1 races or F1 driving, this technically qualifies, so you can check that off the box. And this is actually going to be a race against AI uh, in these cars. I don't expect it to do horribly well. I'm starting at the very back of the race, uh, but uh, I'll give it a go. And see how we do. Is, uh, the track stayed in 1964. Six speed transmission. Different for portions of this area era. like the 
shifter that I'm using. I'm using a Fanatec shifter.
through there for a sec, though. About the grass. Nineteenth place. That sucks. Out of twenty-eight. Let's see how we did here. Nine fourteen, eight four three. Yeah, that was uh, that was horrible, but that was a lot of fun. Hope that you enjoyed that as much as I did. I didn't enjoy it all that much, if I'm honest. That is, uh, this car is uh, a bit of a handful. I need more practice. So uh, I'll be back. But uh, gives you a little bit of a taste of actual competition in Assetto Corsa. And uh, in 1962, Dan Gurney drove this car to tremendous success in a win for Porsche. And one of two wins um, for this F1 car. Only wins for Porsche in F1 because it's the only era that Porsche had an F1 car. Kind of cool. Porsche 804, very, very cool. And this is um, the Circuit at Solitude. Thanks for joining. See you on the next one.